Hi, this is Heidi from Garden Crossings, and it's time to start thinking about your fall planters, um, be it a porch planter or a hanging basket that you're just ready to transform into a nice fall look. I'm going to give you some inspirational ideas on what you can put together that are great choices um, for fall plants that will give you color from now until nearly Thanksgiving or so. So let's take a look at what we have in this combination planter. Let's break it apart. First in the back, which we're using is kind of like the thrillers or the back of this container. We have the Dragon's Breath Coxcomb. This is a beautiful slosia, nice foliage color. It's gonna get some purple flowers on it as well. Uh, but even before the flowers are showing, the foliage color is really beautiful. Also in the back, we have a millet grass. This here is the Jester grass. This will continue to get taller as the fall goes on, um, but really just a nice thriller, adds a little motion into this container. Uh, great foliage, the chartreuse and that burgundy is really gonna be pretty. Depending on how long the season goes and you know before it gets too cold or whatever, it might even send up some tufts of, um, like the millet grass does. So we'll see, we'll see if it does that or not, but even if not, this is great foliage just to start with. Adding a little color is going to be a garden mum. We sell our garden mums in quart size containers as well as in uh, eight or nine inch container and then uh, 15 inch containers. But a lot of what we sell are these quart size mums. And the reason is, is because they can ship fairly well, but also a lot of times when people are doing things with mums, you wanna be able to have a small enough size that you're able to decorate and do these container combinations. So if you had a big eight or nine inch mum, it's gonna take up this whole planter where these nice quart size, they're just gonna fill in and add just another little splash of color to what we're creating here. So this one here is the Jacqueline Pink. It's in bud, so it's not blooming quite yet. Uh, so this is gonna probably open maybe in another two weeks or so. Um, so this is gonna be something that's gonna grow and um, transpire as the planter goes along. So we'll just be able to kind of watch this planter fill out with color in the next few weeks or so. We also have the Lasmachia Creeping Jenny that we're putting up front. This is gonna be a great uh, trailer plant or spiller in the container combination. And this beautiful chartreuse, I think is just one of those colors that you can't go wrong in your planters. It really helps break up the greens even though it too is green, but it really breaks up the, plant, the container combinations. So big creeping Jenny gonna go up in the front. We also are using another perennial. This one is the Primo Mahogany Monster Heuchera. Great foliage color. This can be planted in the landscape when you're disassembling this after fall is done, or just leave it in this container and in the spring, go ahead and get it planted into your gardens. Um, but Mahogany Monster has really great fall color and I think that's gonna look really pretty in this combination. And then another added splash of color in the form of annual is the Snaptastic Red Snapdragon. Beautiful, rich red, burgundy kind of colors, a little bit of orangey undertones, um, but these Snapdragons are really gonna also add a nice pop of color to this container combination. So let's go ahead and get these planted and um, show you what it will look like when we're done. Great way to transform your landscape from annuals into fall decor. So the pot is already filled up with fresh potting soil and that's something I do want to point out is I never use old potting soil. So make sure when you're ready to do your fall transformation that you're switching out the soil as well. Um, you want to make for sure that you've got plenty of fresh nutrients in the soil Anything that you've used from the summer is totally depleted of any type of nutrient, probably a lot of roots going through it, and you're just gonna have better success with planting your fall containers if you do use fresh potting soil. Woo, we got a jumper. So this plant is so large. If you had something this big, you could go ahead and split it. Um, basically, if we look in here really close, 
you can see there's a lot of little plants in here. So this is something that could be split if you wanted to have um, use it in two different containers. Nice, just trailing over there like that. And the garden mum, which will give us color here in a few weeks. This millet is very root bound. There we go. So grasses tend to be like really rooty. So what you can do is if you notice, I kind of ripped the bottom off when I was taking it out of the pot. You can also, if you want to kind of break it apart a little bit, whoop, it's really wet, and split it and kind of bleh, tossle the roots, um, or you can just put it in, whichever it is that you like to do. So we'll stick that in there. I'm actually gonna move things around a little bit. I'm gonna put this heuchera in the middle. I think that way it just, that bright splash is right there in the middle. Move the grass over just a little bit. And then pull out the slosha and kind of put that there. So I think that will look nice with that heuchera in the center. It just kind of gives it a focal point with the tallness here in the back. So now what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and fill in around these pots. And there's a lot of gap in there. Grab some soil. I'm just going to start tucking it in between the plants. The other thing I'll do once I get all the soil in here is I'm going to, this might actually work better, I'm gonna water this in really well. Um, it's important that even in the fall that you do continue to water and fertilize your planters. You may not need to water and fertilize as often because obviously it's not as hot, especially here in Michigan. But for those of you in warmer climates, it is important to keep your plants watered and fed throughout the fall season as well. All right, we've got the soil all filled in the gaps there, and I think this one is ready to go out to the garden center for the next person to buy. This is Heidi from Garden Crossings.